would help ensures that the transition is quite smooth so they during my year at least they had everything you know set up for you so basically once you get an admit you need to pay the entire tuition fee and the housing fee living expenses for a year mm-hmm. and that is how you confirm your admit at the udel so once you do that they start your visa procedures based on the time when you paid your fee the access to the housing portal opens up and then you can really select the house that you want during my year at least tu delft has uh, they arrange buses from the airport to the university right till your housing so they make sure that you reach there safely but one word of caution would be that that uh, during my year it was still easier but from last year i know that they have stopped these airport service airport bus services for pick up and mainly the housing scenario is getting really bad if you want a house via tu delft i would really recommend paying the fee as early as possible you have two tabs wherein you can just say okay uh, i tick on uh, the university applying for my visa and i tick on the house university applying for my housing and then they you need to send few documents about Uh, that you agree upon doing up a t- doing a tb test when, once you land here and one or two other documents basic visa documents and then they, they apply for a visa and then you can just take an appointment at some embassy it's, it's in mumbai and in delhi mm-hmm. so you can you can just go there and it's a 2 minute not even an interview they just ask you which university which course and then it's done basically when you are paying to delft they have an estimate of around 900 euros a month i think they overestimate the living expenses and then so basically you pay them your tuition fee plus your housing expense which is 900 times 12 mm-hmm. for a year and then uh, after you reach here and after your bank after you open your bank account they cut the tuition fee uh, and they cut the housing the housing fee that you agreed upon and then they return all of that to your account so then it's up to you how you use it your rent can vary from around 350 300 euros to say 500 550 euros and your living expenses over and above that would be say including food insurance your phone bills everything could go up to around 150 euros additional so i would say keep in mind an average of about 600 650 euros and then so you have around 7200 to 8000 euros a year usually the mode of transport is your cycle there are bicycle lanes everywhere and you need to have a cycle if you want to stay here and oh. here the weather is really bad that is one thing you need to know so oh. it can it can rain any time it gets really windy so that is when cycling becomes an issue and you need to take a tram or something so having a house in delft is really convenient the dutch people they are friendly in a way and they really speak good english so even that's not an issue and here basically everything happens over a glass of beer so that is oh. something every every now and then every building here in the faculty you will find a pub so they have okay. their own pub for us basically orientation was mandatory because you have to be here during the introduction week basically it's called so you have so so the idea is to be accustomed to the international background here they they already have this they already set up set you up in teams and you're asked to do a one day project and then present eventually and then you have many other activities say a uh, city tour or something of that sort wherein you get to know delft better you get to know the students here beforehand even before starting your academy if most of the class has taken solar you'll find 100 people in solar while if i have taken economics and just 20 30 others have taken economics then you'll your class strength will only be 20 to 20 to 30 so you'll find indians everywhere here and my class itself there are around 30 to 40 indians out of 120 and so it 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 also dep- 
depends on the international intake allowed in your course because set my course has around 80 to 90% internationals while courses like systems and control they have only 10% international intake while the 90% of the students will be dutch there are many friends who worked for at least 2 years or or there are friends who worked for 7 8 years as well but many i also know people who have come directly after college so that's not really an issue